Hello students, Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all of you. I am Mahova Hassan Mittal, English teacher of Master of Preparatory KG School, Sector 4 branch. How have you been? Doing well? I am also doing well. This is my kind of last recorded class for second term syllabus. So let's start my class. Before I start my class, I mean today's topic, I want to ask you something from the last year. Do you remember that I, I was showing you one of, uh, I mean, one of my recorded class, my pet. Can you remember that what was the cat's name? Yes, it was Lanny. And you guess me right that I, about what I'm going to talk Yes, that was your previous, previous topic, right? And I have seen the recorded class as well. It was so good. And I could learn from the recorded class about how to write a paragraph, how to uh, write the starting of the paragraph, how to write the supporting detail, and how to end the paragraph. And the most important thing I got to know, that is when I will write the title of the paragraph, I have to write it in capital letter. Have you learned about it? Exactly. That's, that's very good that you have learned as well. High five. So, let's get into our today's topic. Let me give you some hint. This topic is related to mint. Do you remember what is uh, mint? I'll let you know. And it's also, it's kind of related to emojis that you use in case of texting someone. You know, we have some this kind of emoji like this one. Like when you uh, just want to end some thought, that time we use stop. Right? Sometimes we use this emoji like, right? Sometimes we use this kind of emoji, right? So, can you guess what can be the topic? Yes, exactly. I'm making face for what? It's actually about capitalization and punctuation mark. And you know that punctuation marks give us expression of any sentence, right? When we have to, uh, when we have to read something, we have to check out the punctuation marks that with which expression we have to read it out. Whether it is just general thoughts, general statement, or we are going to ask any question, or we are getting surprised, right? So let's go for our PowerPoint presentation slide to know about. Capitalization and punctuation in detail. Dear students, here is the capitalization and punctuation rules. Let's start with the capitalization. You know very well we use capital letter at the first word of every sentence. It means first letter of a sentence will be capital letter. And the first word of every line in traditional poems. Poems means kind kind of rhymes, okay? Kind of rhymes. Or in Bangla, you can say kobita, okay? So the first letter, of course, that will be English, okay? <laughs> because in Bangla, we cannot write in, in capital letter, right? So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about English. In English, the first letter of any poem or any rhyme, it it has to be written in capital letters. Then, the proper nouns. If you write any special names of something or someone or any kind of place, you have to write it in capital letter. Say for example, Edmond North High School. It's the name of a school. It's of course proper nouns, a noun and you can say special name. And st then Statue of Liberty, it's also the proper noun or special name. Then one name of a prize like Pulitzer Prize or Nobel Prize. In case of that, we have to write 
in any type of proper nouns you have to write the first letter in capital letter now the most important thing if you talk about own self like i'm talking about myself and i am for indicating myself i use pronoun i right so in case of pronoun i doesn't matter wherever wherever you are using you have to write it in capital letter in case of first of the sentence last of the sentence or middle of the sentence you have to write it in capital letter like i went to the store what will i do will you eat what i have cooked so whenever you are using i as pronoun you have to write it in capital letter in case of any personal names of name of any person if you write the titles titles mean you can say the surname or the like title of anyone say for example doctor then professor then engineer in case of that when you write it in a short form as a title or normally the title that time you have to write in in capital letter and here is the short form abbreviations mean the short form of something like here is md md means managing director you are writing it in a uh, in a capital letter but in a short form right so in case of that you have to write capital letter okay now days of a week and months of of the year of course if you were writing the names of any uh, of any day or of any month then you have to write it in capital letter okay always you know it already now if you want to write the names of anyone's nationality languages or races that time you have to use capital letter like mexican who lives in mexico they are called mexican it's the nationality okay i speak french and italian these are the names of the language okay irish american it's the name of the race kind of confused let me clear it here bangladeshi when you'll say bangladeshi it means it's your nationality because we are living bangladesh and we are bangladeshi that's our nationality now our language what's our language our language name is bengali so when you will say bengali you have to write it in capital letter okay it's our language now as our race we are bengali bengali is our race or our kind now you can have another example that you have maybe find found out in bjst book yes chakma chakma marma these are the tribes right they are also race so their races or their tribes are different from the bengali so i guess now you have understood so in case of all the names you have to write it the first letter in capital now the names of any states or countries it can be any districts name as well like dhaka is a name of a district so you have to write it in a capital letter then rajasthan it's a name of a state of india so in case of that you have to write it in capital letter now north america it's a name of a country like when you'll write bangladesh you have to write it in capital letter b in capital letter then if you say say for example you if you write india you have to write i in capital letter like this way okay now let me tell you about capitalize the names of any religions sacred days and sacred writings you may ask me that means what's the sacred means you have written it for in two uh, two places sacred means holy or very pure this kind of thing so religions what are religions you can see in our country islam then christian buddhist hindu isn't it these are our religions in our country so be before when you write the words you have to write the first letter in capital letter again sacred days means holy days say for example christmas the holy day or sacred day for christian eid ul fitr or eid ul adha shob e borat these are the 
sacred days for Muslim. And if you say Durga Puja, Lokhi Puja, these are the pujas or these are the sacred days for Hindu people. Buddha Purnima, this is what again the religious or the sacred days for Buddhist. Here, Bible, it's the holy book or sacred book of Christian people. We have Quran Mazid, isn't it? So this can so this type of holy or sacred writing or sacred book, we have to write the cap uh, the first letter in capital letter. Like Bible, B is the capital, Quran Majid, Q and M will be capital, like this way. Now look at here. The first word, the last word, and all other important words in titles. How you understand? Here, titles mean, let me change the color so that you can understand. Here, title, you do your project work, right? So if you give any name of the project work or any type of title of a book, you have to write every letters in capital letter like you do the same thing in case of writing a paragraph this semester or this term you have the paragraph my pet animal right so when you write my pet animal in every word the first letter will be capital letter again the last dog then the monsters are due on maple street so the this is this full sentence is one title Okay, so in case of this situation, you have to write the capital letter of every words, okay, every important words. Now, let's go for punctuation marks. Now here, punctuation marks. That's all for, that was all for the capitalization. Now comes the punctuation marks. You know very well that in English, we have 14 punctuation marks that we use in our everyday life okay so here are some of them you can see the full stop question mark comma exclamation exclamation mark then quotation hyphen slash this kind of thing so now let's go for why we use the punctuation marks okay punctuation uses first of all what kind of sentence it is the, if you get any sentence, what type of sentence it is? It, it can be understand or understood. Uh, it can be understood by reading or following the punctuation sign. Okay. What are we reading? It means what type of content you are reading. That will be decided by use of punctuation. Use for effect. Like... What kind of expression you have to give? It has to be followed by the punctuation mark. Let me tell it more easy, easily that the expression of a sentence will be given by, by seeing or by noticing the punctuation marks. Help the reader to feel. So to feel the sentence, the expression, you have to use punctuation marks. As I said that we have 14 punctuation marks, but all of them are not using in the same position. Some of the punctuation marks can be used at the starting of the sentence, some of in the middle of the sentence, some of at the end of the sentence. So here is, here are the punctuation mark that ends that are used at the end of the sentence okay like full stop question mark and exclamation mark here punctuation mark or at the end of the sentence or what the punctuation marks we use that tells us that how we have to read the sentence it means tells you how the sentence should be read so how you'll read any sentence the expression will be decided by the this kind of punctuation mark now period or full stop sign when any thought is over thought means any of your statement or your idea is totally clear now you will not gonna say anything else that's the end of one type of point 
that time you have to use full stop then you have to read with little emotion in case of if there is any full stop at the end of a sentence you have to read it with a little emotion because it's normally the statement imparts information so it if it's say for example normal information you have to end the information by giving full stop like you are after that you'll give another information so before that you have to use full stop sign now the use of full stop at the end of the declarative sentence it means the statement as i was saying you have to use full stop like there is no place like home after titles in american english if you are using any american english so after that after the title like mr you have to use full stop of course it's for the title or the short form of something like doctor it's also title and written in the short form then in case of numbers if you are using any decimal or any uh, any decimal thing that time you have to put a full stop in the middle of the numbers okay like this way look here is a decimal right it's a full stop actually following abbreviation it means if you're writing the short form like etc uh, and here you can see the name of a month in a short form here is the short form you have to use the full stop mark now question mark when author is seeking information or asking for anything okay or um, say for example you were very curious and you want to know something that time seeking means looking for seeking means here looking for author means who are writing anything now where we have to use question mark at the end of the question what are you doing have you seen the film yet in case of this type of question or even when you are asking something you have to use the question mark now exclamation point or exclamation mark. express a lot of emotion in your sentence because if you use you are using exclamation mark at the end of the sentence you have to give the the correct expression like wow what a beautiful birthday it is so here is a strong emotion you are expressing your emotion right that's the lot of emotion or you are screaming at someone that time also so let's see where we use exclamation mark we use the use to express strong feelings or emotions such as shock like the sad news surprise the good news is can be or you someone is giving you surprise the anger or raise of any voice so in case of that you have to use exclamation mark okay used to give commands if you order someone like sit down so in case of this type of command that time you have to use exclamation mark at the end of a sentence used after interjection or exclamations after interjections or in exclamation means in type any type of exclamatory sentence you have to use exclamation mark in case of any informal writing sometimes we use exclamation mark say for example you have seen this in dialogues when you writing a dialogue you have uh, you have written exclamation mark this mark after writing hi or hello so in case of informal people informal means who is very close to you in in, in case of that writing you have you can use exclamation mark look at the example stop sit down here are the commands john don't touch that so in case of that raising voice you have to use exclamation mark help so in case of sudden i mean strong emotion you are screaming at something to, uh, for asking for help that time you have to in case of this situation if you are writing to make understand the reader you have to use exclamation mark and see what i was saying in case of informal writing you can use exclamation mark here hello good night in case of that you have to use exclamation mark 
and here is the exclamatory sentence here what a gorgeous room here are the punctuation marks that we use in the middle of a sentence like comma quotation marks apostrophe semicolon dash colon dash and parenthesis so these are the parenthesis actually the bracket you can see now the comma we use it in the middle of the sentence to separate the series of words it can be noun adjective verbs this kind of things thing in a sentence we use commas like tom anna jim and richard went for meeting for the meeting so here there are series of nouns right the naming words so between them you have to use comma now to separate series of phrases in a sentence here are the phrases of the sentence it means the parts of the sentence like john completed his homework packed his bags polished his shoes and went to sleep so these are the activities or parts of his work and to separate that i have to use comma oh one thing i have i forgot to tell you comma takes 2 seconds gap or 2 seconds pause between the phrases or this series of nouns now comes apostrophe we use apostrophe in two places basically to used or to show the position or in case of the contractions contraction you have learned in class 2 as well let me tell it more clearly position position means when something belongs to someone in case of that situation we use position uh, this apostrophe position means the ownership or when something belongs to someone like this phone belongs to me so if you say that this is mitu misses phone this is mitu's phone so you have to write apostrophe s in the word like my brother's name is rafi that's actually my brother's name so you can see my brothers in bangla if you say more clearly amar bhair naam er in case of that situation we use this apostrophe okay to show the position and look at here contraction it means the shorten of words by removing one letter or two letters or it can be more letters we use apostrophe in the same spot spot means in the same place like i don't like to go there i don't it has to be i do not so o is removed here and instead of that o here is using apostrophe right now here is our exercise it's the unit 31 it's page number 62 you can find it in the eft book it's the punctuation and capital letters the same topic you can see in the eft book as well let's go for the first exercise listen and say underline the full stops and capital letters let's underline that so let's do it yes now you can see here the underlines so do it in your book now look at the activity here underline the two questions of activity a what is at the end of the question sorry now you have to underline the question mark as well but it's for exercise b okay first underline the full stop and capital letters then underline the full uh, the question mark as well now here is exercise c page number 62 in the same unit unit 31 how you have to do the exercise look at here correct the sentences then write them in your exercise book as you don't have exercise book you have to write it in the cw copy here are you shanta here you have to use question mark and the capital letters you see that like this way okay so like the, it is given here like this way and you have to write in this way in the copy okay so let's start the exercises how old are you it's starting with the wh word so you have to put the question mark 
at the end of the sentence because it is asking like this how old are you here h will be capital and at the end of the sentence you have to write question mark is your father's name anik here is i will be capital letter because it is the first sentence a uh, first letter of the sentence and anik it's a proper noun right proper noun or special name that's why a will be capital and as it is asking to know about something that's why you have to put question mark at the end of the sentence now number 3 my father's name is ahmed already here is given the apostrophe so no need to change it the capital letter you have to use here at the first of the sentence and here is again the special name or proper noun that's why a will be capital and at the end of the sentence it's normally just a statement you have to write full stop again the question where are you from it's the question you can see and it is starting with wh word so w will be capital and at the end of the sentence you have to write the question mark again i am from sylhet here apostrophe is already using here and you remember that i have told you that if you are writing about you are talking about i i mean own self that time i will be in capital form okay and the same thing again the name of an, one district that's why you have to write it in capital letter it's also special name or proper noun now these are what exercises you can see it in page number 63 in unit 31 look here is one passage let's read it mrs mori is a teacher komal mariam and fahmi are her students here miss mrs is the title remember that and it is the special name for that reason you have to write the title in capital letter after that there will be a full stop right then the name will be start started with the capital m then here you can see here these are all names the proper noun or special name that's why all the names are in the capital form and here are the series of nouns that's why here is comma and it's just a sentence these are just a sentences that side you have to write full stop at the end of the sentence like this way now kamal can you close that window please here to separate the phrases or separate the situation you have to use comma and remember always after name after the names you have to put comma like this way yes mrs mori here after yes you have to put comma as well you found it already in the dialogue now exercise b what punctuation marks are the are in the middle of the sentences underline them so you have to underline them so in the middle of the sentences what you can see in the middle of the sentences just now i have told it yes it is comma so comma we use in the middle of the sentence so for that reason you have to underline just comma here is the comma here is the comma and here are the commas right so you have to do it like this and last but not the least it's your hw number hw number is 41 and look at the exercise write the exercise see it means this one from eft book you can see it in the eft book so students i hope you know about the punctuation and capital letter analysis very well right i know it was so many of stuff but let me tell you if you just learn this capitalization and punctuation mark the use of punctuation mark properly in class 3 i can assure you when you will be in class 4 and 5 it will be more easy for you to write down and read any content very easily and properly hw our hw is exercise c page number 63 from eft book because you know that this Uh, this unit thirty one is containing the punctuation and use of capital letter as well. So do this exercise in the H W copy.